Initiation is just an induction process, it's an energy process. In that direction, this uh, Rudraksh Diksha will be given, it's a kind of an initiation so that you will soak in the tears of ecstasy of Shiva. This is how the year is divided in the yogic uh, culture, from summer solstice to winter solstice is Sadhanapada. From winter solstice onwards is Kaivalyapada. This means uh, Sadhanapada is time to work upon ourselves, Kaivalyapada is to re uh, you know, either uh, realize or receive the blessings of the sadhana that we have done. So, this is the time for realizations, this is the time for blossoming, this is the time slowly the sun will move in a certain way and assist us towards a higher possibility. Because in relationship with the northern hemisphere, where the sun is from winter solstice to summer solstice, is most advantageous for people who are living in the Northern Hemisphere. This is important time because this is harvest time. In India, even physically this is harvest time, even materially it's harvest time. What is considered as uh, Shankaranti, what is considered uh, what is called as Pongal in Tamil Nadu are essentially harvest festivals, it's a farmer's festival or it is harvest festival, it's mainly about harvest. Even for a yogi, this is harvest time. For what work you do within yourself, this is the time to take what you want from it because harvest is not just one time. You must slowly gather things so that after some time, if you look at yourself, you can't recognize how you were five years ago or ten years ago. That's how much wealth you have gathered within yourself. In that direction, this uh, Rudraksh Diksha will be given. So Rudraksh is not just given as something that… Uh, material, it's given as a Diksha or it's a kind of an initiation so that you will soak in the tears of ecstasy of Shiva. Initiation is not about a bundle of instructions. Initiation is not a bundle of words. Initiation is just an induction process, it's an energy process.